What's up everybody? Hey, stay tuned tonight. I'm walking down to the Mazda store and we're gonna be taking a look at the 2017 CX-5 during the evening time. Just about a half a mile down the road here to the Mazda store. And uh, let's take a look at the CX-5 tonight. So stay tuned. If you haven't seen the CX-5 during the nighttime, you're in for a good one because the exterior and interior lighting is amazing on this vehicle. So here we go. Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Chad Dolby here tonight at Stokes Mazda. We're gonna be taking a look at the 2017 Mazda CX-5 Grand Touring front wheel drive. Uh, tonight's video is a little different. It'll be my first time driving this vehicle on the highway. We also have a GoPro camera up top for a POV video. And then we're also gonna be looking at the uh, interior and exterior lighting at nighttime. So stay tuned over the next few minutes as we really check out this cool car right here at the dealership tonight. Let's go ahead and get started. Thanks to some of y'all that have been watching out there. I actually had a commenter online say he really enjoyed the night videos and that's kind of prompted me to do more night videos. I notice a lot of people do daytime stuff and these cars really do come alive at nighttime. So again, 2017 all new body style CX-5 Grand Touring and what a beautiful vehicle it is. Wow. All right, let's go ahead and uh, cut these lights on. So it would help if I had the key and the key is inside the car. So let's do that. And thanks to my friends at Stokes Mazda for letting us film the car tonight. Or letting me film the car because I'm pretty much the only one here filming right now. And uh, let's hop in and cut these lights on. Let's see what we got going on here. Um, just so you know, this, this is our key. Uh, the key has not changed a whole lot over the years of Mazda, so it looks just about the same as it always has. And uh, let's go ahead and push our foot on the brake. That light will cut on once you do that. It, it'll be green and then it turns to red. Or maybe it doesn't turn to red. <laughs> Anyways, but um, yeah. So right now the headlights aren't on. When they cut on, you'll definitely see because watch this, boom, they're on. They are, uh, they are HID Xenon headlamps up front, and uh, I keep saying it, but I believe that the fog lights in the bottom bumper are also Xenon. And if you can notice here, I know it's a little tough to see, but there is a heads up display that sits right here. I'm trying to get that number in there, there it is. It looks kind of small on this camera because I'm running a, uh, a Canon 10 to, 10 to 22 millimeter wide angle lens tonight just so I can get more uh, view in here for you but it looks it still looks even a little bit far away out of my own uh, eye view here but anyways the heads up display is a great feature I never really noticed how much my eyes go from out the window to down on the dash and back and forth and back and forth until I drove a car with heads up display and I was able to just look right out the dash so uh, it's a great feature to have for safety. All right, so here's this beautiful vehicle. I mean, it really, I mean, it's beautiful during the daytime, but man, when it hits night, look at it. My goodness. So let's get a close up of these lights. You even got a little smoke going on right here from the engine cutting on. I'm guessing that's perfectly normal. But there you go, My, uh, that's your headlight there. What a good looking headlight. The projector bulb's looking pretty uh, stealthish right there, isn't it? Let's move right on down here. That is your fog light. It also kind of looks like an HID Xenon. I mean, when you get back, let's see if we can notice this. They kind of have that Xenon look to them. It's hard to see here, we got all this Lighting stuff. All right, all right. 
and come on camera. And uh, focusing doesn't seem to really change that glare thing going on. So anyways, we'll get out of that position, but... Right, let's make our way around the back and see what's going on back there. Before we do that, I want to put the blinkers on so y'all can see what the blinkers look like. Because that's another thing people just don't show you in videos a lot of time is how every, all the lights work. I mean, I believe auto manufacturers put a lot of money into these lighting systems and all this kind of stuff. And it definitely needs to be shown off on camera. So if you're watching on full screen auto right now or, or any of my YouTube channels, subscribe because I'm going to start doing night reviews on just about every car I can get my hands on. So there's your tail lights with the blinkers looking good. Okay, so basically headlights, fog lights are on, blinkers in the mirror on, tail lights are on, and uh, the only other lights you got on, on, the, on this vehicle on the outside is right under here. Is those lights. Backup camera. Power tailgate. When I say I'm going to show you lights, I'm going to show you. Oh, the friggin' lights. <laughs> um, another light right there. I think lights are important. I mean, if you're out at nighttime going, you know, going out to eat for dinner or just going out to have a good time or, or traveling, um, it's important when you pull in somewhere where it's dark and you need to get something out of your vehicle that things light up. Um, that little button right there, as you can see, has some kind of LED behind there to, to light that or illuminate that up which is nice. All we need now is some of those neon lights in the wheels, right? Like back in the day. Anyways. They don't have a light under the hood like cars used to back in the 90s or even 80s. Car brands used to put a little light under the hood so when you pop the hood at nighttime you can see under there. I think that's still something they probably need to do. I mean, it's cool. Alright, anyways. Keep moving around. So your door panel the only interior illumination you're going to get is a little bit right here on the auto up right there in your auto door locks. That's all for there. You're not going to get a, uh, a kick panel down here that says CX-5 in it that illuminates. I noticed on the Chevy uh, Camaro and some of the other Chevys, they got that. That'd be cool. Mazda maybe could add that on later down the future. That will really kind of sporting it up a little bit. And um, your, your memory seat functions right here that are new for 2017 have no lighting there at, at all either. Okay? Just so you know. Seats look good. Let's go ahead and uh, hop in on the inside and have a look around. Those do light up right there as you can see. Um, I like how the steering wheel lights up. Look at that. Looks really smooth. And your gauges look good. Let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit. See what we got going on here. Let me get it focused. Not bad. Let's go ahead and cut these blinkers off. If you ever wondered, that's where your blinker button is. Start and stop engine button is illuminated. I'm going to zoom in just to kind of browse through some of these uh, buttons and stuff. So y'all can see that. Of course your heated seats right there. And then your heated steering wheel has a button that lights up as well. Same on the uh, passenger side for your heated seat. Climate control. If you're wondering what that looks like, let's go ahead and cut it on. There you go. It's dual climate as well. Right now it's set up to be the same on both sides, but you can change it on either side of the vehicle. If you go down low, it's going to put that air at full blast. Let's go ahead and uh, drop that down a little bit. All right. And that's for your sport mode. And then up top, illumination there. And then up here. Those are nice and bright. They haven't gone to LED yet on those. They should. They haven't. And then your rear, your uh, your visors. There's a light on the pet driver's side, and of course, there's got to be one on the passenger side. Yep, right there. Nice. All right, let's take it for a quick ride. Let me uh, put my seatbelt on. Uh, a little tough to do sometimes with uh, one 
hand, but we're going to get it done. And, uh, you know, just, just about 15 minutes ago, took it for a quick test drive with the uh, POV camera on, the GoPro. And uh, I want y'all to watch that video. I'll put a link in the description, and you can see how I drove the car with both hands. It was really fun to drive. Um, the suspension felt good, and overall, I, I felt confident driving this car around some really tight corners. And I'll show you those corners right now. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. So let's go ahead and put it in drive. Again, I'm not going to drive too crazy or fast or anything like that. First of all, this is not my vehicle. It's a vehicle from the dealership here. And uh, I'd like to have enough respect for these dealerships where I don't really get too, uh, you know, crazy with the cars. So, now if I was the general manager, Mr. Ed Sal that works here, he's part of the family of Stokes. He could drive these cars however he wants to drive them because... Him and his family pretty much own. They do. They own these dealerships, but that's not my. Uh, <laughs> that's not my gig. I can't do that. Anyways, we got a bicyclist over there, don't we? I wonder what he's doing tonight. Kind of, you know, if he if this bicyclist guy's cruising down this road, he's up to no good, because this road doesn't lead to anything back here other than other than a couple little businesses that are closed. So, anyways, to each his own feels good now you can see now through my eyes right now those lights outside out there have kind of a bright white look to them I'm noticing on my camera they have a yellowish look to them but let me tell you one thing those xenon headlamps are the best headlights to have on a vehicle if you're car shopping and you're looking at cars buy you a car with xenon headlamps because they are so bright and that is definitely something nice to have feels good feels good let's check out the turning radius while we're right here I know it's good and it definitely is this little car whips around a corner almost like a Mazda MX-5 Miata um, consumer report said that the interior is definitely quieter for the 2017 model and I definitely do believe that I've driven the 2016's multiple times last year to events and all over the place and uh, you definitely can tell it's a lot quieter in the cabin. And let me let y'all hear. Engine sounds good. You can get the uh, 2017 CX-5 with two different engine leaders. And uh, you can get it in front wheel drive or all wheel drive. The all wheel drive comes up think what a 2.5 and the uh, front wheel like this is a I guess it's a 1.5 not sure I might be wrong on that but anyways you can get it in two different uh, engine sizes and of course the all-wheel drive is gonna have a little more horsepower and torque because it's all-wheel drive I'm gonna go ahead and pull it back into a parking spot because they actually have someone coming to look at this particular car tonight so it could sell tonight wow that'd be pretty cool huh if someone got to drive this car home tonight and it'd be their car man that would be exciting i always like to say mazda dealerships are the coolest dealerships around i mean look at the building doesn't that look cool definitely a sporty looking building so let's go ahead and uh, do that before we go let's look at the backup camera put it in reverse camera looks pretty good what i'm wondering right now is do the guidelines move when you turn the steering wheel well let's take a look no, they do not. I'm turning the steering wheel. The guidelines do not move with the steering wheel. And you may be wondering, is there any other options for your camera on the back to uh, doing different views? No, there's not. You just got that view right there, okay? Which, it's a fisheye. Yeah, it's a fisheye view, which is okay. You can see pretty much about everything you need to see in the back. So that kind of concludes tonight's video on the 2017 CX-5. Thanks for watching. As always, subscribe, like, comment. Have a great day. We'll see you soon. And check out the POV video when you get a moment. See you later.